First it was the plastic and paper bags. Now plastic utensils and condiment packets are going to be disappearing from your takeout or delivery order. Stephanie Bertini shows us what won't be in your bag when restaurants start skipping the stuff starting Monday. Alex Zhao is the manager of Fushimi, a restaurant in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. He says he's concerned about implementing skip the stuff rules. It's very complicated uh, for us. Starting Monday, New York City food service establishments providing takeout and delivery service may not provide utensils, condiment packets, napkins, or extra plates or containers to customers unless such items are requested. The city implementing the rules, which include requiring online delivery services to set a default option that doesn't provide the items, meaning customers will have to request them. Have you heard of this? No, I have not. What do you think about it? That is really weird. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. All right, cool. um, so, you know, I have bigger problems. City officials say the goal is to reduce waste and help the environment. According to officials, in New York City alone, 36 million pounds of single-use plastic are collected just from residential trash. Tens of millions more, they say, come from commercial establishments. Normally, we don't like over-regulation of our city's small businesses. This could help them cut back on their waste, save money, better for the environment. Although Zhao thinks this could be a good thing for the environment in the long run, the short-term impact he is expecting in his restaurant complaints to flood the phones from customers unaware of the new rules, he says. And based on his experience, he thinks the adjustment won't be immediate. With all these things going on, we're going to get a lot of complaints of people not receiving the utensils. There will be a warning period set until June 30th of 2024. After that, consequences will include fines, according to city officials. In Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, I'm Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.